Hello everyone, Berserkit here, and welcome to this multiplayer battle for Total War Rome 2. So, I realize it's been quite a while since I made one of these, but here you go. This is a battle, and I'm playing as Bactria, and Bactria is a faction that um, I never spotlighted, because usually, whenever there is a new faction for Rome 2, I make a video in which I kind of spotlight the faction, I go through their units, and, you know, what you can expect from this faction, and I give you my general opinion about the faction, but I never did this for Bactria. So, there is, there you go, this is, um... Uh, a video in which I command Bactria, as you can see here. Anyways, let me go through the army. So the army that I use for Bactria is kind of similar to the army that I use for the Seleucid Empire. But of course, it can't be the same because they have different units, obviously. And uh, the thing is that they don't have the Silver Shield Pikeman. And they have the significantly worse Thorax Pikeman. I'm not a big fan of Thorax Pikeman. And that's why I just I got just four of them. I usually get at least five units of pikemen, but here I decided to get two units of Bactrian Royal Guard. Uh, you know, usually when I play as the Seleucid Empire, I just get six units of uh, Silver Shields, but this in this battle, since I play with Bactria, I decided to uh, get two units of Bactrian Royal Guard instead. And the Bactrian Royal Guard is a very decent unit. They're, they're one of the unique units for, the, for Bactria, and as far as I know, they're a pretty good Spearman unit. Anyways, then I got three units of these Bactrian Horse Archers, and I think these are currently the best Horse Archers in the game, because, you know, I I just looked at their stats, and I kind of compared them to the stats of the other Horsemen, uh, of the other Horse Archers, and stats-wise, I think these are the best ones. They're kind of expensive, but they're very, very good units. Uh, then I obviously went for two units of Indian Armored Elephants, because they're, I think, the most overpowered unit in the game, so you should get two of them whenever you can. I, I could have gotten more elephants, but I decided not to be that douchey to or just enough. And then two units of Hellenic Cataphract. So, uh, once again, kind of similar to the army that I use for the uh, for the Seleucid Empire. But anyways, let me go very quickly through my uh, enemy's army here. He brought a lot of foot companions. He also brought some Rodian Slingers here. Cretan Archers. Uh, what else? Yeah, pretty much, pretty much foot companions for the most part. And some Aspis Companion Cavalry. So, what I was concerned about was the Aspis Companion Cavalry. But, as you can see here, my opponent kind of went into this new box formation. As you can see, he's trying to, um, you know, make my elephants go berserk. And right now, he's actually doing okay. And now, they're gonna kill some of my own units. However, he failed to... Um, to do it with this unit so i was able to get a very good charge as you can see inflicted a lot of casualties and what i'm doing here with my uh, with my horse archers is i'm just trying to get behind him and just start shooting i know like i usually don't rely on horse archers to get a lot of kills but right now what i'm trying to do is kind of reduce their morale a little bit because i charge with the elephants and i know right right there i know that the foot companions are significantly better than the thorax spike man and i'm just engaging frontally so i just want some support and this is exactly what i'm doing i'm just encircling my opponent he went for this new box formation and the problem with the new box is that it's uh, not mobile at all and you can uh, you know you can encircle your opponent anytime you wish so here i'm reinforcing i'm bringing in some more thorax spike man and the good thing is that the bactrian royal guard is actually significantly better than the foot companion so in this battle they actually helped me a lot and what i'm doing here in the meantime i well, yeah, I'm, I'm actually shooting them and I'm trying to inflict some extra casualties reduce their morale, morale a little bit But I'm doing as you can see um, The main focus right now my main focus is to try to Encircle these guys from whenever I can and now I'm actually gonna charge with my horse archers here Because they have decent stats even in melee combat. I mean, they're not you know as good as the cataphracts or anything but they're a decent unit i mean they can hold for for a while and that was i why i decided to just charge because this is exactly what i needed here i just needed to completely encircle my opponent as you can see that was a great morale shock for his cavalry and now pretty much the only unit that is still standing uh is his general which is gonna route pretty soon as you can see it's pretty healthy but it's but it's outflanked and now i'm gonna rush in with my thorax spike man so i pretty much won the battle uh, there are also some foot companions here, but at this point he admitted defeat. Anyways, let's go and look at the battle statistics and see what happens. So, this unit of elephants was pretty much useless. So, you can see that even though these armored, uh, this, these Indian armored elephants are extremely OP, you can still deal with them. Two units, it's kind of, it's, it's actually very difficult, but one unit you can totally deal with them. If you concentrate two units of archers, 
you know, if you concentrate them on shooting them with fire arrows, you can very easily make them run amok, which will rob them. And I actually killed my own elephants because I didn't want to inflict um, casualties. Luckily, my general was in a Bactrian Royal Cavalry unit, which is once again one of the unique units for Bactria. But I, I still prefer the Hellenic Cataphracts. They're a very good shock cavalry unit. These, I think, are melee cavalry. But I'm not sure, I usually get just shock cavalry because I mainly use my cavalry for hammer and anvils. Anyways, my Thorax Pike man did a decent job in the in the center, as you can see, they inflicted a lot of kills. Uh, because I charge with my elephants, I kind of weakened the front lines of my enemy and then I charge in with the Thorax Pike man. Once again, foot companions are much better than Thorax Pike man. But in this situation, plus I reinforced with, with my Bactrian Royal Guard, so they had absolutely no chance. And the way I won the battle is just, you know, my opponent... Uh, went for this new box formation and I was able to encircle to encircle them and do whatever I want as you can see these archers were able to get a decent amount of kills that's not usually uh, the number of kill of kills that I get with any type of archers I I'm not good at using archers uh, but at the end I was able to get a decent charge so I still made a very good use of them anyways uh Macedon is really a tough faction to deal with I really dislike playing against Macedon because they they have like pretty much all of their units are good the aspis ca uh, companion cavalry is a very good melee cavalry the companion cavalry is good shock cavalry they have the mercenary cretan archers they have the foot companions they're expensive units but I, but you know that i like that i prefer expensive units over cheap units that are significantly weaker so yeah macedon is really tough action to deal with but in this situation i played with uh, i played as bactria and Really, that's why I like Bactria. They're still kind of overpowered. You can do a lot of them. They have versatility, definitely. They have good spear units. They have Thorax Pikemen. They're not bad uh, Phalanx or Pikemen unit, but they, you know, they still, uh, they, they can still do the job. Anyways, as you can see, that was a pretty clear victory for me. Only 300 losses, and I was able to inflict almost 800 uh, casualties on my opponent. So yeah, anyways, that was a very quick battle that I wanted to show you. I Once again, I never made a video on Bactria, so I decided to bring you this um, multiplayer battle. So yeah, that's going to be everything for this video. See you next time. Goodbye.